Hello lovely humans, welcome back to my channel. I am back with more Centaur World. I feel like I do like spirit fingers every time I say that. I'm like Centaur World, but it's just such a theatrical out there show. I am so excited. Every time I watch another episode of this show, I'm like actually like super, super excited because like I literally don't know what to expect. There has not been one episode like yet where I've been like, Ugh, all right, this is like dragging. Like every single episode is so weird and just crazy in the best way. And as you guys could tell last week, I freaked out over that Zulius um, Cats the Musical episode. It was amazing. Um, I believe this episode, I think you guys said episode eight was a little like heavy and that I might need to do a trigger warning. So I'm kind of nervous about this episode to be honest. Like. I'm sort of freaking out a little bit because I don't know what's gonna go down in this episode. So, oops, dropped my lip balm. <laughs> if that's the case, then I'm scared, but I'm ready. Um, to show you my little cute kawaii figurine of the day, I have another unicorn for you today. You guys seem to like seeing my Tokidoki collection. This is my Tokidoki Swan Princess Unicorn. As you can tell, she has a swan right on her head. She seems to be inspired by Swan Lake. And she has like little swans here. She has little hearts on her cheeks. And she even has earrings in. I don't know if I showed you guys her before. If I did, I apologize, but I just think she's so pretty. She's got her little necklace on and she is just glammed out, girl. She is working it. I love her. Um, and she even has little stars on her cheeks, which I think is a really cute detail. So yes, feeling very princessy today with my Swan Princess Unicorn. But without further ado, let's start this episode. Don't know what you expect in Centaur World ever, ever. So let's get this started. Here we go. So excited. <laughs> Mama Link, love you. Ooh, where are we at an amusement park today? <laughs> of course. Durpleton's going to be super amused with this. <laughs> oh, the centaurs are just going to be in this mirror room forever having a ball, aren't they? Oh, poor horse. Horse. Her whole body changed. That's pretty dramatic in like the matter of a second. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Like, what, what must horse, horse be thinking? You know what I mean? Crazy. Ooh. The last shaman. There's only one more shaman? Yeah, it looks pretty abandoned. Merfolk centaurs? Murtars? Okay, Durbleton, was that necessary? Are you not here though? Because sometimes I wonder, like, what kind of dimension is this? Glossy chest hair? Oh, all right. Mama Link's a little uh, thirsty for some vermin. Okay, girl, we see your type now. <laughs> I, I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Oh, man splash, meet Derek. <laughs> oh. Glendale stole all of them for, for Wobble Link to, uh, to be thirsty too. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. <laughs> Ooh, fire vanishing. Ooh, I like the pirate one. This is hilarious. Glendale, you're, Glendale, you're blowing her cover, girl. Stop, stop. Tone it down, scale it down, scale it down. You are exposing Mama Wink's fetish, even though she already exposed it. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Not the kind of mer dude she was thinking. It's definitely not what she was thinking. Aww. <laughs> You're a, a, a mer dude. I love Mama Wink. 
He doesn't have glossy chest hair. I don't even think he has like human, like a human body. He's mostly a fish from their hands. Oh, he's nice though. He's sweet though. Songfish Murgai? What? Oh! Retriever. So it's a boardwalk. Oh, singing shell guys. Hi, shell tars. <laughs> shell tars. Wow. Oh. Why is the hot dog drawn realistically? in the songs in the show like they give away a lot of information but they sing them so quickly that I'm trying to like pay attention more to the lyrics okay so I guess the shaman doesn't show herself very often this place definitely looks abandoned is Sunfish the only guy there? It's kind of sad. Hmm. Oh, horse is gonna lose it. <laughs> of course you don't trust him, Chet. <laughs> Durpleton, I think he just wants to hang out. <laughs> Oh, two beach balls had a weird kid. Poor horse. Girl, the body image must be real. I relate to that. Body image is hard. And she literally completely changed. Like, I just feel really bad for horse. Mama Wink, are you trying to pick up sunfish, girl? Mama Wink just wants to, you know, have some fun. I'm not. All right, girl, you do you. <laughs> Okay, go play games, guys. That would be really cute. I want to see a montage of that. Look, the Rainbow Road went right there, too. I wonder why she's called the Last Shaman. What's that? <laughs> yeah, well, so do you. <laughs> no, don't say what she just said about herself, about the beach balls. Horse. Yeah, you did hurt its feelings. Her feelings. The shelters really like to scream, don't they? Rainbow tears. I wish I had rainbow tears. <gasps> Is this the whale tar? Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, she's like super majestic. She's super majestic. Takes your sadness away. Hmm. She's so beautiful. I never thought a whale would be so beautiful, but she is. Final day. So did she absorb everyone's pain? All the murder? She absorbs everyone else's pain?
Horace's voice actress, like her singer, sounds like a Disney princess. <laughs> it makes me so emotional. Like, oh my god. What is inside the whale tar's belly? absorbs all their pain that's why she's so big this is so this is a place where you go when you're really you just want to give up like the rest of them. It's literally all the Murtars, wow. Oh, final resting place, okay. Okay. So these are characters that have given up on, yeah. That's why I trigger warning, okay. If anyone can pull you out of this sadness, look at Wama Wink. Yes, yes girl. Yes, yes, 
just while I'm awake. <laughs> if any... Oh, she's getting her prize fragile things. Oh, I love you, Mama Wink. Oh, I love you. You're so beautiful and full of sunshine. system and then I've had like new amazing friends come into my life and like I've had many times too where I felt like giving up and hopelessness and just like the reminder that like you can always choose like to be hopeful and to not give up and the fact that Wama Wake song that was so perfect like I couldn't really 
contain my emotions and that was like not what I was expecting would happen but that was like the most like heartwarming like episode of Centaur World in my opinion. Like yes the theme was very dark and I will give a trigger warning because that is a dark theme to be addressed in a cartoon. Um, but oh my god what a good ending. That was such a good episode. Like that might be my, my favorite episode next to the Zulia's cat musical episode for completely different reasons. But oh, this show is so good and I'm gonna be so sad when it's over. I love it. I did not think I, like I officially love it. I did not think I would end up like actually like loving this show like deeply, but I do. Like, I just thought it was really fun and different, but I officially love it. Like, I, it was just, it was an amazing episode. That's all I have to say. I love you all so much. I hope you still, like watching me even though I fall like a baby sometimes on this channel. You know, whatever. I'm a human and you are all lovely humans too. I love you all and if you ever feel d upset or down, you can always have hope and things can get better. You just have to look on the bright side. Uh, such a good message. Okay, goodbye everyone. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.